So what is time intelligence? Uh, related functions. First of all, what is time intelligence? Time intelligence um, is nothing but right. Uh, you want to perform some kind of uh, analysis based on the timing, right? So in that kind of situation, uh, you need to you know these uh, time intelligence functions are very much helpful in Power BI. Okay, so you want to perform some kind of time related calculations. Uh, in that kind of situation, the time intelligence. Uh, you know, related functions uh, in DAX are very much helpful. So essentially, this one allows uh, us to analyze our data in the context of time. Hence, it is called time intelligence. You want to analyze our data in the context of time, okay? Uh, for instance, right, um, this can be, uh, the time intelligence can be in terms of days, months, quarters, years, okay? And it helps us to compare the business metrics across different time periods. The, or determine trends and forecast future values. So this is not common, you know, only for, this is not meant for Power BI. So this is common in any analytics project, okay? So there are uh, built-in functions um, that make our job simple to perform the time intelligence related uh, analytics. We have something on total month to date. And the same, uh, you know, for this function, gives me the month to date sales. Uh, you know, like total MTD, we have another function with dates MTD. Both of them are doing the same job. But when it comes to syntax, there is subtle difference. Otherwise, both of them produce the same output, okay? And similarly, quarter date, year to date, month to date. You can accumulate the total if you want to see it. You can see the same period last year. All these functions, we will explore it now. So first, uh, let us understand what is... Um, uh, month to date is all about. What is month to date? Month to date is nothing but supposing somebody is asking you today is what day? Today is uh, 7th September. Somebody is you know, asking you, let's say your manager is asking you this question. Can you tell me the month to date sales? Which means starting from the beginning of this month uh, up until now but excluding today's date because today is not at over. right? So some, uh, the September 1st to till est until yesterday evening what are the sales we made? Uh, that is what your month to date, right? So that is what he's asking you. Month to date is the period starting from the beginning of the current month and up until now, but not including today's date. But uh, not including today's date because it might, how about others? My voice is breaking. Is it clear my voice? So one student was not able to hear me clearly. Hello, hello. Can you all confirm it? Is it clear, my voice? Yeah, Priyanka, I think uh, you, you probably you can join it back because others say it is clear. Okay. okay, so month to date is the period starting from the beginning of current month up until now, but not including today's date, okay? Because it might not be, it might not be the complete act. Uh, next one is the quarter date. It is also, you know, same as this one. So start in this case, starting from the beginning of this quarter to up until now, but not including today's date, okay? Um, why today? Again, from the beginning of the current year, up to, but not including today. So uh, in the case of month to date, what will happen is, it is giving you the accumulated or cumulative total for the for each month. But every month beginning, this value will get reset. Similarly, the quarter to date, it gives me the cumulative total for each quarter. But for every quarter beginning, you know, the cumulative total will get reset. The cumulative total will get reset. Similarly, year to date. Okay, every, uh, you know, be every uh, year beginning, this value will get reset, okay? So what is month to date? Starting from the beginning, that is what we discussed, I think. Look here, when you look at this year, you'll be able to understand clear. Um, it'll be clear, right? So what is M to D? So look here, you have the date, month to date, okay? And there is a built-in function called total MTD. And alternative, you have something called dates MTD function is also available. And here, if you see here, right, the 13th January, we did some, uh, you know, sales. And orders placed was nothing. But the previous year, we made uh, 697. Mm. Go to everything is same here. 
uh, here there is a mistake here. 70. Mm, 697. 700. Yeah, correct. Right. So here what happened? So this is your previous year sales. Okay. Previous year. Let's assume that, uh, you know, starting from 1st to 12th January, there was no sales. This is my previous year sales. And in the, you know, 14th January, in the, let's say in the January 2023, only on 14th, we started getting orders. Okay. In this case, what happens? The year to date column, if you see here, 697 plus 70 gets added to 767. Similarly, 767 plus 99, 866. 866 plus that is, that is what you are getting. It's a kind of a running total. The same thing is happening here also, here also. But when you notice the month to date, even in this case, it is adding the 70 with the 697. Hence, we are getting um, 767. And this value gets added with this one. And you know, hence, we are getting, uh, sorry, you know, uh, yeah, this one we are getting it. Okay. And this value gets added to this one and you get this value. Got it? So, this is what your month rate. But if you notice here, every month beginning, the cumulative total, what you see here is getting reset here, right? It got reset here. The cumulative total got reset every month beginning, okay? And when it comes to month to date, every month beginning, the cumulative total for the M to date column will get reset. But when it comes to quarter date, for example, January to uh, Feb, Jan, Jan, Feb, March, right? The calendar year. So every um, new quarter, April 1st, this value will get reset. Until then, it will give you the... So look here, in this case, uh, right? In the case of Feb 1st, this value cumulative was not, you know, reset, right? It is doing the cumulative total, running total. Until the end of the first quarter. In the second quarter beginning, April 1st, this value will get reset. Again, for each quarter, you will find the cumulative total. And every quarter beginning, you will find the value get reset for the cumulative total. The same thing is applicable for month to date. But here, every month beginning, the value, the cumulative total will get reset. Every year beginning, the cumulative total value get reset. So here, total MTT, total, you know, likewise, you have different functions are available. Look here in this table, I have dropped the columns like a date, a calendar date function, right? So here, I don't need this date column. I just remove it. And if you see the sales value, okay, you know, comes from the sales W04 table. And then we have this one comes from sales W04 and month to date. So look here, I just show you the function. This is a measure MTD. And I just, um, month to date, this is the one I used it. When you click on it, you can see the total MTD function I used it. The first argument is your expression or the sum of sales. It's a measure. Okay. And second one is the calendar date, date uh, column. You need to use it. The second argument. Okay. So in this case, if you see here, look, and also I've used the two um, slicer. One is for month. Other one is for year. I selected year 2012. When you see here the 1st August 2012, uh, with the sales is this much. Month to date sales is 10,079. Uh, and uh, the dates MTD, both the functions are doing the same thing. We have something called dates MTD. It is similar to your total MTD. There is a syntax difference. That's all. Okay. And the next row, when you see here, this 10,000 gets added to the 16,000. 26 and 995, you know, if you add this to 27,000, it gives me the uh, cumulative total August. And uh, when I select August, uh, September month, let, let me do one thing. I'll just select the September month along with the August month. So there is something wrong with my version. It is not corrupted. Okay, look here. August month 2012. Mm, it is still loading. Look here. We have to wait. Still loading it. So every uh, when you see the September month, 
September month um, beginning, right? Uh, the the cumulative total value will get reset. That's all. Okay, that is the difference between uh, you know the month to date and uh, the quarter to date. Every quarter beginning, it will get reset. Okay. So I don't know why it takes this much of time. August September in two thousand twelve. Uh, next one is uh, I just go ahead and uh, move. So this is the one. Look here. Here itself, we can see the first January and February. Look here. First January. What happened? First February, right? So the um, up to January thirty first, the month to date column. You can see the cumulative total, running total. This value get reset when it comes to Feb month. Look here. Two thousand one eight eight. Two thousand one eight eight. Okay, it is not getting added with the previous month. Okay, month because it is a month to date. Month to date, what it does is does the cumulative total uh, for the entire month. For every month beginning, this value will get reset. That's all. So next one is the month to date and the quarter to date and um, the year to date everything. Look here. Here I just show you the all the function that I used it here. And here what we do is sales data. Yeah, we have something called uh, look here QTD. So this is where is the this is where dates QTD. Okay, I just show you the dates MTD is not there. Mm, yeah, dates MTD is also there. Look here, dates MTD. So similar to total MTD, we have something called dates MTD, but you cannot call the dates MTD directly like uh, the total MTD. You need to wrap this with a calculate function. Okay. So in this case, um, you know, you need to specify the date column as whatever dates MTD function. That's all. So both dates MTD and um, total MTD does the same job. Okay. It gives me the same output. So then why should I maybe write so for uh, the syntax short and something that they have given something like that. Okay. Uh, next one is the QTD, and if I see here, um, here I selected uh, only two months, right? Oh, yeah, three months, March, yeah, April. Um, okay, let me sort this here. Yeah, both of them are same table, okay. And we have January, February, March. See, April 2011, the new quarter starts. Hence, this value gets reset. The cumulative total gets re reset in the case of uh, quarter to date column, right? The total, see, similarly, like a total MTD, we have something called total QTD. <clears throat> and that in this case, I've used the dates QTD. See, we have three functions. One is total MTD, total QTD, total um, YTD. For these functions, we have alternative functions like dates MTD is also available. Both of them gives me the same output. But the idea is very simple. Every quarter beginning, right? Every quarter beginning, this value gets reset. Okay. And every year beginning, this value will get reset. So until the new year uh, starts, this one does the Cumulative total until the new quarter starts. It's the does the cumulative total. Once the new quarter starts, the value get reset. The cumulative total. That's all, guys. Okay, you understood, right? The same thing is applicable for the year today, and we have something like fiscal year today. If you see here, in the case of fiscal year today, this value got reset. Why? Because uh, in this case, what I did, I mentioned about the you know our india fiscal date right so the every uh, year 31st uh, 2011 the fiscal year ends first april the fiscal year starts so in this case hence it resets the value here this is this is your calendar year to date this is your fiscal year to date so look here i just show you the fiscal year to date also look here uh, total weight uh, same thing some of says the date column and here I specified the fiscal year. Supposing you are in the UK, so you need to specify UK uh, the fiscal year in date with month. Okay. 
So in this format, you need to specify. That's all, guys. Okay. And the next one is the cumulative total sales. Uh, cumulative total sales. I just click on it. If you see here, um, so here there is no function, built-in functions available like uh, total MTD, total QTD, total YTD to perform the cumulative or uh, running total, irrespective of the fiscal year or uh, quarter to date, month to date, or calendar year to date. You give me the running total for everything. Okay, don't reset at all. So that is what your cumulative total. Running total, it is also called a running total. In this case, um, we need to use some logic because there is no built-in functions available. The first argument, we know very well, calculate. First argument is your expression. And then I'm using a filter function the inside the filter function. I use the all function. What is all function does? It removes the filter on the date column. So each and every row, it is not filtering the data. It simply ignores the uh, row-wise filter. And uh, since it ignores the row-wise filter, what happens, right? Uh, you, you know, right? That is what they're doing it. The next line, what I did, uh, you know, canal date is less than or equal to max of. So max of this one will give me the recent date, current date or recent date, the maximum date. And this one start from the beginning of the uh, beginning date in the calendar table. And starting from first to uh, next record, right? So what will happen is, for example, in this case, 1st January, when it comes to second record, what will happen? 1st January and 2nd January value will be there. 1st January and 2nd January. So it's maximum value 2nd January. First to second January, beginning to till this when. So it does the cumulative. That is how it works. Got it? The calculate function. If you don't use all function, what will happen? It will do the, you know, filtering row by row. If it does the filtering row by row, it will display like this. We don't want to display like this. We want to have the cumulative sales here. Okay. So for that purpose, we are in. But here it is not doing the cumulative sales, right? So 528. Mm, 842, 4820. Let us select only the 2000. <laughs> oh my God. I just can't select this one. To check, yeah, we have some blank values. Yeah, 2011, but you need to specify, you know, the month, right? Uh, let's do one thing, Jan and uh, Feb. Uh, let me select this one. For this one, the M2D. And here I just select Jan, Jan month. If you see here, uh, yeah, you can see only January month. And I just select the Feb month. So January and uh, February, we are seeing it. Yeah, the fiscal year to date, everything is working fine. So by selecting more than one thing, um yes, yes it is correct right 528 plus 314 842 842 plus 3000 yeah it's correct only the output is correct and if i go here yeah it is doing the same thing right community tool is doing perfect job but here compared to the other columns this one simply doing it simply ignores everything right does the running total for the entire records in your data set that's all guys so we have seen total MTD, month to date, um, sorry, total MTD, total QTD and total YTD function, how it works. And also we have seen how to display the fiscal year to date sales and cumulative total sales, how we can display it with this example, you have seen it. And uh, next one is we have something called same period last year, parallel period. And um, we have something else called date add function. Okay, date add and function. So here, look here, when I select this visual, right, the year, you have some year column. This year comes from your calendar table. And this one comes from sales, you know, this is, these three are your uh, functions, okay? And here, what I do is, uh, same period last year, same period last year, measure. You go and see it here, 
there is a function called same period last year. What it does is when you use this, uh, you know, here in this process, the date column. And first one is USA. So in this case, what happens is, look here, this is what, uh, you know, the year co column and sales column. Each year, what is the total sales we can say? For example, along with uh, each year, you want to see the previous year sales, you know, next to this, side by side, right? So this is my previous year and current year. And uh, for the 2013, the previous year is this one, right? This one get displayed here. Side by side, if you want to display it, you can use same period list. Here. But uh, the same period last year, you know, it displayed the previous year sales. Or you can display it along with the current year sales, right? Current year sales, you know, along with that, you can display the previous year period, uh, same period last year sales. Uh, but here, you cannot go, uh, you know, you know, backward and forward. Okay, for example, if you want to go two years back, that is not possible. If you want to go one year forward, that is not possible. That's where we have some parallel period uh, function is helpful. So you have something called parallel period. Look here, parallel period. So here also we specify the date column. And then the last one is your the period okay the we want to say the year or or you know it's a period this is uh, sorry this is an interval right you want to see the year month quarter year month quarter you can specify it here so minus one is you can go one year back not the previous year oh yeah current year and previous year look here same period last year also shows the previous year but with the parallel period, the advantage is you can go one year back, you can go two year backward, three year backward also possible. Also, it is possible to forward it. Okay, you will display the plus one, two, three, one, two, three, positive values so possible. Positive and negative values are possible. With the negative values, you can go backward. With positive values, you can go forward in terms of year, month, quarter. So it supports year, month, quarter. That's all, guys. Okay, and next one is the date add function. Look here, this is the matrix. You know, the same thing, calculate function. Date add, as I said earlier, uh, yeah, that is date empty. Sorry, this is different. Okay, date add. So like parallel period function, date add functions with the help of the date add function also. If you want to display two years back data along with the current year data, that is possible. So you can go, you know, as far back as possible and as um, forward as possible is also possible. Plus one, minus one, plus two, minus two. All the things are possible. If you say plus two, two years forward. For example, you are in 2011. You want to display two years forward. 2013 value next year, it will display here. Okay. Uh, I just show you here. Yes. Uh, you want to see that, right? So if you see the data, it got shifted here. Because... Uh, so along with the current ESAs, you want to display two years back or two years forward, 30 lakh 47 and 38 lakh 57, right? That is possible. That is also possible. You want to go forward and backward also. So now we understood what is the difference between same period, parallel period and dated. And in truth, they'll ask you same period. With the help of the same period, you can go one year back. That's it. Whereas with the, and also you can go one year back only. If you want to go one year back, you know, one month back, that is not possible. Uh, but uh, parallel period, you can go one year back, two year back, and you can go one year, uh, one month back, two month back, one quarter back, that is possible. Month, quarter, year also, you can go backward and forward. But with same period last year, you can go one year back only. You cannot go one month back, two month back, that is not possible. With same period last year. And whereas in the case of uh, date add function, similar to your parallel period, you can go forward and backward using negative values, you can go backward, positive values, you can go forward also. But the difference between parallel period and date add is in the case of date add, you can use year, quarter, month, day, day wise also. You can say, for example, you want to compare, you know, you want to display the today's uh, sales along with that, you want to display the you know the previous day sales that is also possible so year quarter month day wise also you can go right so that much granular level you can display the values side by side uh, the difference between parallel print data is uh, in the only differences uh, you know up to day level you can compare it side by side whereas parallel period up to year quarter month only you can compare it 
same period last year you can compare until last year only okay you cannot do previous as the name says previous period last year right that's all so now uh, we have seen right the difference between all these three functions we explored it and also we compared and contrasted you know 